Hey there, it's me, Lottie, and today we're going to take a look in the garden, but I wanted to share with you my garden journal, which is a book that I have just been loosely keeping track of my trials and tribulations around gardening. It started out as a book of everything, you know, just I was trying to bullet journal and what have you, you know, all this stuff. But it ended up being uh, mostly a garden journal. So I'm just going to share like how I started out making plans, you know, just anything that I saw that interest me you know, how to turn this area into an edible forest and then keeping track of a few of the things that I did that year. Um, it quickly <laughs> began to grow. This year, I was keeping track of the seeds that I ordered and where I got them from and put down some garden goals. And, you know, then I just started doing some journaling about what I had done, which also kind of got into how I was feeling about <laughs> this endeavor. Some days were better than others. This page, I just cut apart a flyer that I had and then I would just make a little date and just do a little journal section. Sometimes I was feeling wonderful, other times I was like, I suck at this. <laughs> anyway. Then I started trying to, you know, make some sketches of areas and what did I want to put in these areas, different plants that were already there and then plants that I added in. Nothing was right or wrong. I tried not to judge myself. <laughs> so that brings us to this page. One, this is my wish list page. Some garden plans. I just think that is absolutely gorgeous to have pathways and, you know, have the garden be like a meeting space, a place that you want to chill out at. And of course, chickens one day. Isn't that a beautiful chicken? But here we are today. And I'm really happy I was doing this because I was like, these carrots should be ready I guess how long do carrots take and I could go find the seeds the seed packages right but I'm really glad that I made notes like on June 13th I put in the ground two kale plants leeks beets amaranth garlic and onions no beets among the garlic and onions I was like I planted garlic a long time ago Cleared the other side and planted carrot seeds. 75 days, approximately August 22nd. And here we are, right at that time. So then I made a note of the seeds that I started here. And when I put the stuff in the straw bale, some things didn't make it. These beet seeds never made it. Anyway, this was a good reference point, and I'm really glad that I put in there just a page with what I had planted. This is me trying to sketch more stuff out. This is just a nice brain drain of things that I need or want. I spent some time figuring out my garden shoes. There will be a video coming soon on that. And yeah, just, um, this has really been enjoyable. This page, I went through a, um, like a garden catalog magazine, and then they had all these sources for, you know, different 
things like fish fertilizer and, you know, seeds, other places to get seeds from. So I just made a little reference page here. This, I love this page. I'm going to try, I'm going to make another one for August. This was my July abundance and gratitude page, really documenting my successes because, you know, sometimes I was getting pretty bummed out. Things weren't, you know, I mean, it is a lesson in patience, right? So this was awesome. You know, I went, I just journaled about it. My apple cider vinegar, which turned out awesome, finally my greens I grew this rhubarb and made a strawberry rhubarb pie my onions from kitchen scraps my garlic you know how proud I am of this garlic but yeah this was such a great you know capture of success you know and then we go back to more garden journaling I left a place for my 2021 plans, which I actually started a huge brainstorm of my 20, well, not just 2021. This is gonna take the rest of my life. <laughs> but anyway, I just clipped those in here to uh, hang on to that idea flow. This is another page I just, I made this actually many 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 years ago and never used it it's a combination of a old encyclopedia page and a magazine clipping and then I paint it and add it to it and I don't know what it'll end up being sometimes this is fine or I might make it a collage this is my current garden log I love this quote the day I decided that my life was magical, there was suddenly magic all around me. Love that. So this is my next garden uh, log page and I'm getting ready for the tomatoes. Found this page in a book. Tomatoes are finally ripening. You know, I keep saying how I got off to a late start, but these are some recipes I might try, but I wanted to have my tomato uh, page and I just loved this image family and friends gathered at the table having a beautiful meal that inspires me so yeah and I have plenty of paper to go I set myself up for another page just pasted in this uh, herbal tea page I like that so anyway we're gonna go out here to the garden and see what these carrots are actually doing but I wanted to share that with you just in case you were thinking about um, ways to chronicle your journey you know I'm gonna print some more pictures off to add to this so that I can refer back to it and yeah so anyway I hope you're having a wonderful day I hope you're safe I hope you're surrounded by love and peace and until I see you in the next video take care